months then make it six months yeah. maternity leave as well because if you make it three months then there's usually that challenge you go to the to to the workplace you, you know to your with your baby you get separation anxiety your milk goes down um then we have in the constitution again don't follow it people are still pumping in in, in toilets and in the cars Mama, so cheeky. those things are there but again i think it's also the reason why people are on the streets because like yeah, we have such a beautiful change. constitution but we don't want it to be followed wow. so the most recent thing is another bill that should be passed so the bills are many there's a breastfeeding uh bill okay have your new album out awesome rain yeah that's good excited about that one. <laughs> i have an I, li- i like the way it sounds yeah and man i've got an album out collaborative album it's called awesome rain the stance um awesome rain is now a duo between myself dr rain and awesome um isam gavi when you question yourself and you ask like what what, what are you saying that's different mm. so so we were very intentional about that and and, and being as real as as, as possible and the album actually was recorded in 2023 but like you're saying like some of the stuff even during mandamano and stuff mm-hmm. like that we had started leaking some some snippets where we turned you know we created like videos out mm-hmm. of the mandamano mm-hmm. um situation but these were songs we recorded in 20 like it wasn't we didn't have to go into the studio and record a fresh song which yeah. we actually did there's one we did called in chieto but yeah and isam did one called Shu, um Mwizi Shuka Mwizi Shuka so it day tulikuwa tunaenda kupanga hii podcast in a way that we just talk about stuff affecting our Kenyan people with healthcare with art and how art can change this like whatever is going on with us Gen Zs and us youth with nani nani so karibu sana doc thank you man really happy to be here it's been a long time coming i know we've been discussing this i think since last year mm-hmm. Yeah man so yeah pleasure to be here very warmly welcome to, and hopefully we can do some many more works of art together for sure man speaking sure. of art you have your new album out awesome rain yeah that's good excited about that one. <laughs> i have an I, li- i like the way it sounds yeah and man i've got an album out collaborative album it's called awesome rain the stance um awesome rain is now a duo between myself dr rain and also um isam gavi um a guy who initially the whole point was to have an engineer and start my album because i felt i was ready to get back to music and then we just we just clicked and then started with what was supposed to be some song on my on my album and then from there it just ended up one song two song three song it just started becoming too easy and just sounding so good so yeah album is out man make sure you go stream it um on all the platforms um the first single wagwan which is also the first track is also mm-hmm. out um on youtube the music video dope dope fire music wow. video shot by my brother Sh- cj pixels so yeah man i'm excited i'm excited to be back in that space but now welcome mm-hmm. back to the game hey. yeah back to the game it's different it's the, a the splitting game is like in eco juice and a doc i listened yeah. to the album with you before you released it yeah <laughs> it took on our own private listening party which was very interesting i listened to it again today and there's so much that you highlight on it when it comes to your life as an artist your life as a doctor what mm-hmm. you want to do as a doctor what yeah. you want to do as an artist Yeah it's, it's very it's very real um I think that's that's one thing um we had agreed with Asam like this is a very mature type of 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 hip hop um I mean I'm a millennial so I'm I'm old yeah to to some people so I can't be just there capping and talking about Ferraris and Lamborghinis sure we can have those things and rent them out and it will look super cool but um it's for me it's about impact it's about anybody can rap man we've got so many dope artists you know uh, millions of artists are dropping every single day mm. so it's when you question yourself and you ask like what 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 are you saying that's different mm. so so we were very intentional about that and 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 being as real as as, as possible and the album actually was recorded in 2023 but like you're saying 
like some of the stuff even during mandamano and stuff mm-hmm. like that we had started leaking some some snippets where we turned you know we created like videos out mm-hmm. of the mandamano mm-hmm. um situation but these were songs we recorded in 22 like it wasn't we didn't have to go into the studio and record a fresh song which yeah. we actually did there's one we did called inchieto but yeah, yeah and isam did one called Shu, um muzi shuka muzi shuka <laughs> so it's it's been it's been really um good to see that whatever comes out like yeah. the doctor strike when the doctor strike came out the song kazi mm-hmm. um you know if you listen to the song kazi on the album it really kazi na chapa yeah and i think he just, yeah, he says, says he loves that one i think uh, yeah i think that one is for the doctors man like uh, if you if you listen to it kazi the whole the whole concept of it was you know you're working hard but you're not seeing the fruits of your of your labor you mm. know what i'm saying like the first line when i say like um um hate those early morning shifts mm-hmm. work hard make somebody rich you know like you're working you're working but it's like even our taxes are just going to be eaten by somebody mm. making somebody rich Bang. if you work for a company you you're being paid a mediocre salary um in the rat race but somebody some investor some shareholder of, of that you know hospital or whatever mm-hmm. is making a lot of money um off your hard work so kazi like yeah. so yeah i related to kazi a lot mm-hmm. yeah. and I, one reason why i related to kazi is because then i actually felt like uh the way doc has said like if i am a doctor right now hospitals will take advantage of me public hospitals private hospitals they yep. will take advantage of you yeah health care capitalism yeah. so it's it was it was part of my frustration with and you see the music is really an outlet for me to to vent so i think i got tired of just tweeting and 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 putting my thoughts out there so it's like okay let me do what i do and turn my thoughts into into music and into an outlet to express myself So Kazi yeah like you're saying it's a very personal expression but even the other guys on it like uh, Groovy Joe really went in on it like her verse is like I think I think she's got the best verse on the album yeah like in terms of collab yeah. well we have also some fire collaborations yeah, well, yeah, I can already collab- see you disagree with me <laughs> yeah but There's a lot of good collaborations Asam came through Groovy came through and their aspect was you know talking about cars because even musicians are going through it mm-hmm. like we have so many dope kenyan artists man that should really be so far ahead um but because of you know systems again you know everything like the the whole reason why we are on the streets is because or saying drain the swamp is because these systems are not working mm-hmm. people are creating art man there is like mad artists but um they're not doing well this is not just not feeding them mm. things like mc escape people are stealing your royalties and oh. we've made it like a like you know this is this is normal whereby we can see in other countries that if if you do have a system and royalty system works you can actually make money from it mm-hmm. we're not being educated as artists um, about publishing um there's the whole music uh, business aspect of things um, mm. ownership intellectual property when it comes to so like so about it those are those are those are different uh, parts of of you know the music conglomerate that you can make money mm. not just from streaming but from those avenues yeah. as well Multiple because your sources. music will you know if you create timeless music somebody is going to sample your stuff right. and yeah. every time they sample that you get some money comes back to the family all school artists are making a lot of money yeah. from from you know from that so you know yeah we definitely need to build the swamp yeah. and have good systems yeah. look at what's happening in the olympics man um you know if if we focus on in, investing in sports we will produce like really good athletes yeah you know because talent is one thing but hard work beats talent every, every day. day and the other the other guys are using science they're using infrastructure they're investing in in, in you know the yeah. the bobos It's, it's so a 200 meters gold you know mm. um he's from Botswana but he has professional coaches he has the local coaches and the um, team for structural support mm. um, from the government so akuna 
Kazi, tuko na kazi, kazi tuko kazi. na kazi. Yeah. But we'll get there man. Sasa kazi nyingine wewe uchapa your penetration man. Yeah, and man. like you're very good one at that, mashallah. So what what's good this week based on pediatrics? This week is by the world breastfeeding. Yeah, we're just wrapping up uh, world breastfeeding it usually mm-hmm. runs for 7 days mm-hmm. from August 1st and I think August 7th. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so we're wrapping up breastfeeding, well, breastfeeding week, um, trying to, you know, increase awareness of yeah. the beautiful things that are breastfeeding. My thesis was based on breastfeeding. So oh, yes. if you think about the things that breastfeeding actually prevents um, and the benefits that it has and the impact from the, the brain of the child, you know, from them being smart, things like that, from optimal growth immunity yeah, immunity yeah. and uh, you know preventing things like type 2 diabetes yeah uh, oh. the potential of yeah not developing things like asthma and and other allergic conditions because yeah. of you know just exclusively breastfeeding mm-hmm. which is you know from birth to 6 months and then you continue up to 2 years once you've introduced you know good complementary foods yeah so you know it's it's just highlighting that but at the same time um the challenge for women and breastfeeding for me and that was my area of my thesis is we keep saying exclusive breastfeeding exclusive breastfeeding but mm-hmm. things have changed you know we're not we're not that uh, community as we used to be we used to be a tribe we used to live in villages your grandmother was there your sister was there so there was a lot of support for the mother to allow her to breastfeed so that the the other people step in but now we're in a, in a place where you know if you don't have a nanny you know um the mother herself is a career um woman you know we have empowered women so most women are working and things like that so it becomes hard to exclusively breastfeed you have yeah. maternity leave three months yeah. if you're formally employed if you're if you're informally employed whether you just uh, mama mboga or somebody who is just you know has your own yeah. business your own hustle it means when you get pregnant you're not going to go on like a maternity leave yeah. if you don't go to work it's going to affect you know the business you're not going to generate enough your money productivity in Apple yeah world. and then you're telling somebody to exclusive exclusive and breastfeed for 6 months how many months is it now the world who the the who regulations for exclusive breastfeeding um so th- we usually say the first from the first breastfeeding from the first hour of life mm-hmm. without introducing anything other than medication and supple- and like supplements so maybe vitamin D mm-hmm. um if the child is sick of course whatever medication they're going to get but mm-hmm. breastfeeding until 6 months yeah. so at 6 months we start introducing complementary feeds okay. um people a lot of people say weaning but when we say weaning that's incorrect because mm-hmm. weaning means you're now stopping to breastfeed you're weaning off yeah. the breast Yeah. and then eating other food but yeah. that's not what exclusive breastfeeding is it's mm-hmm. continuing the breastfeeding it's going to be much less yeah. in terms of demand because now the food takes over yeah. the caloric de- demand is much higher to do other I'm things sit feet. down walk run yeah. play um so you can't get all that from the milk yeah. and milk changes the breast milk changes yeah. over time yeah. in terms of uh, the properties inside it so yeah in in a nutshell um it's that until 2 years at least okay. until 2 years um and it has shown now to have all these beautiful benefits prevent pneumonia de- deaths uh, by around 600,000 a year wow. pneumonia deaths uh, pre- prevents a lot of unnecessary diarrheal diseases that can easily kill a child um and, and then all the other long term um benefits. benefits it also has benefits for the mother um in terms of Events you know reducing the risk of cancers yeah. yeah um you know reducing the chances of developing um um depression you know yeah. um from post delivery so breast milk to the world man but we need oh, to also to enforce we have good we have amazing laws like we've done a lot that the WHO has recommended for example the code which means you can't just be getting formula Uh, the formula has to be branded that exclusive breastfeeding is the best and this is not a you know a sub, like the, it's a substitution but you should know that the best thing is breast milk you know okay. so that's from what we call the WHO code which is enshrined in our constitution in terms of advertising um 
you know infant formulas and then there's also now steps we've taken in terms of the constitution like now in um employment the employment act so now the maternity leave for three months we're trying to push it to six months um <laughs> with with the studies hope is it next, achievable yeah yeah i think it's it's very possible it, it makes the studies so the research that has been done has shown that if you provide you know at least uh like six months there are other places that provide one year so the longer you provide the maternity leave the higher the ch- the rates of exclusive breastfeeding yeah. so for us to improve exclusive breastfeeding we have to be supportive yeah. to the to uh-huh. the mother yeah so if we're saying six months then make it six months yeah. maternity leave as well because if you make it three months then there's usually that challenge you go to the to to the workplace you, you know with your with your baby you get separation anxiety your milk goes down um then we have in the constitution again um where they you must have breastfeeding stations and things like that you must support the mother this is all in the constitution but they don't follow it um most employers don't don't follow it people are still pumping in 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 toilets and in the cars Man, so tricky. those things are there but again i think it's also the reason why people are on the streets because like uh, we have such a beautiful change. constitution but we don't want it uh, to be followed uh, so the most recent uh, thing is day. another bill <laughs> that should be passed so <laughs> the bills are many there is a breastfeeding uh, bill okay. mm-hmm. that That's is being passed it. so now what they're trying to do what they're amending it so like like i'm saying it's in the constitution that you should provide this yeah all that like uh, lactation station yes. um you should provide flexible working hours for breastfeeding mothers but yeah. they don't tell you if you don't what happens yeah. you know unless somebody is going to sue you or whatever yeah. but nobody is going to go to their hr and say that you have you you haven't pr- provided for me a breastfeeding station yeah. and this person is paying your salary so there's that fear That's of of job. of that happening so this one is trying to make fines so if if an employer doesn't do that we fine you a certain amount of money yeah. and hopefully now people will will comply in 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 essence but uh, overall the bill is generally what's already enshrined in the constitution just trying to you know strengthen it, it yeah it so that there is consequences if you don't you know follow man our mm. constitution is beautiful by the end of it. and there's a lot of yes, stipulations in place protect our country even your auto na cheza karata na yes una una kazi mo like kimbi one say that nigga can be in a 200 meter like the boy from the stand up olympic yeah now you got three piece eh that guy is now become a meme man is how fast can you stand on you no yeah. but that nigga yeah. is he should jump and he should jump yeah shout yeah, out, yeah, yeah, shout out to him man yeah, <laughs> yeah he's he's doing a lot now that's that's somebody who can now probably become like a political yeah, leader figured. independent candidate yeah, you know independent but and then attack a boy region ah yeah, with his iconic photo using his iconic photo yeah take us i you don't know i can give you photo nikali but yeah tomboya no makure mm. but now and the glasses glasses mm-hmm. and then people are saying him tom are calling him tomboya region you know he's inspiring people mm-hmm. i think he's, he's standing for change now he's an image he's an mm-hmm. icon in the movement mm-hmm. whether he likes it or not but big ups to him big ups to hanifa because there were there a lot of people after dr rain when yeah big up to you man because for everything you put out there i've done minimum i think most of my stuff has been just amplifying online just using my platforms oh, that i have um to become an activist but um yeah I went I went to I also hit the streets especially the first ones the laser reject finance bill um you know especially after what happened with Rex yeah but doc we, we've been doing this for a long time how many demos have you been to yeah as doctors <laughs> it's, it's been I was the the last the one last year there was demonstrations for Is the interns the for the interns yeah I think okay. even there's a time there's a time we were doing a space when you guys hadn't been was it pay or posted i took one to to be posted yeah the yeah, first, first time now we met yeah, what was it was it was it being posted or was it being paid it was one posted. of them being posted yeah. to lipigania after ku post you yeah. p- so we did Lipigania. some lives on 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 <laughs> on my ig we did yeah just um yeah the digital activism is is what <laughs> 
Adil Ades. Karibu. Karibu Ades. So, yeah, um before before I dropped the ball or dropped the the phone. Uh-huh. <laughs> um what was I saying? What was I saying? It's made me lose my chain of, of <laughs> thought. Mm. But look, let's, let me take you back, your mind back to the Gen Z thing. Mm. You think it will cost Kusema, we are leaderless, we are leaderless? It will cost us. Mm. Eventually, there's going to have to be, you know, structure. Like, I know, I don't want to steal or, and I'm not saying this, like, I don't have the, 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 what, the audacity to whatever what the gen z is because the gen z are doing things that us millennials wow. or boomers or gen x haven't you know been able to do in a very very long time so kudos to them but um you know the spontaneity is is, is reducing that surprise element the police have definitely studied um how people get into the cbd I think you can see how they were structured yesterday like getting into archives was hard getting into town itself was hard they had restricted our uh, public vehicles so as revolution evolves man you know as as the revolution goes it 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 has to evolve and there are so many ways we can fight other than just protesting mm. there is the constitution i mean at at the reason why people are going to the streets um and i don't believe that any protest has been unsuccessful because somehow impact has been made you know mm. um having all those police officers there tuesday and thursday that's that's something mm. you know having jkia issue um warnings and and what do you call them delays of flights or potential issues mm. that's the impact of of all these protests mm. but it has it can't just be through the protesting it has to be through you know fighting through the constitution um, if we need to sue certain people for you know for for breaking the law let's sue the people um if it means now having political parties um you know independent running independent candidates or having a structural political party that people believe in that's your constitution that's your right um but all in all i think um we can do all those things it's not just through protesting um you know we can demand for for the president to you know you can impeach all those things are, are possible but of course it's going to no get accepted uh, president is not yeah you so now <laughs> with, with, with the broad based yeah. government with the broad based government now now that the opposition is now there's no opposition <laughs> where the opposition it's going to be hard uh, but yeah, yeah. The the opposition is hard. it's it's an avenue in the constitution but that's going to really really be hard let's just be very honest with ourselves um but it's possible so we need to go through we need to look at those avenues but then also structure ourselves organize ourselves prepare ourselves for 2027 um there's a lot of narratives already on social media of recycling people you know for me i believe the drain the swamp is the best thing you just need to get rid of all of these guys they're just reshuffling 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 recycling but it's the same same people same people they just wear different t-shirts different colors official opposition yeah so that's why we have to now to now be the independent candidate talk to us talk to the kenyan people like from a fresh mind but if we start saying oh we want to put back matiangi like i, I don't really understand <laughs> that doesn't make, doesn't this is the sense. same guy who kicked out miguna miguna yeah. illegally mm. when rivayala bodies are being found this is the same guy who was you know in in charge yeah. when you know jimmy wanjigi just the other day people are in his, hey man exactly. i saw the videos bana guys awesome. went in like swat bana with uh-huh. guns like mm. with those laser guns things laser. have you seen that clip no, think of the wife it. yeah i'm saying don't shoot me yeah don't shoot me don't shoot me don't shoot me but remember even that time of ruto jimmy wanjigi still they 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 hit his house as well it was very like dramatic yeah miguna they they threw like explosives that time in his house mm. that's still matiangi so same, same, same yes thing. fine he's 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 a disciplinarian and he's you know no nonsense fine that's fine i'm not saying that he doesn't have any good characteristics oh, yeah. but mm. if it's that guy can do that against the constitution mm. why would you want to have the same people yeah. you know in, in power yeah. they just focus man drain the swamp get new people new faces 
We have New intelligent ideas. people. Yeah. You know, we Brilliant have intelligent minds. people out there. Oh, no, we no. have people in health. We have people in you know law uh, for for places in the judiciary. We have people who have studied political sciences. Mm-hmm. There are people who have studied you know economy, engineering, architecture, urban planning. Those are the people we need to see in there who understand that really we can't keep going on the way we are, wasting money and then getting money, loaning money and then eating the money and not doing anything. Mm-hmm. Like the tax we collect is more than the six surrounding countries around us. It's crazy, man. When you think about all those, <laughs> all those trillions, yeah. when you think about all those trillions, it's, it's really, really, really crazy, man. When, uh, recently, the two scandals I want to talk to you about. One, Juni Kwamtaetu. Uliona yo flyover ya Timon. You know how much it was built for. Yo rode nyenenda ju hivi kama ndalangata. Na ju hile nyenenda ndalangata. Yeah. And then hapo. Exactly. It's been built for six billion. And the payment is ongoing. As recently as last year, I think they were paid 600 million. But Crazy. yeah, it took 6.2 billion to just build your flyover. What you hivi? It's crazy how the money just flies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also... Handshake, handshake government. Handshake. And I think it's also there. It was part of the handshake and then yeah. it no longer became Bagadi way, it became... Uh, well, Odinga. Is it Odinga? Odinga, yeah, Odinga, yeah, Odinga way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Odinga, yeah. It was part of the handshake deal. Sweetened the deal. Yeah. Now we're in the third base government. But to the talk of handshake. I will still stand on the hill of like we should form our own opposition party. Uh, we should be like in the Gen Z, they have to form so that, because you see, you, you can't elect somebody mm. as a president if he doesn't if he doesn't have a a political party. You can register as an independent candidate, mm. but you see their structures. Like you have to submit to IABC all these things that I'm a candidate for this. I'm running for this. So you can do it. If you are able it can to all of this, definitely. Can I think done. it can be done. I, I think it can I be done, and I think that we should think this. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon. So mm. start thinking long term. You know, continue with the civic education because a lot of it. When we get to twenty twenty seven, the amnesia is coming. <laughs> by that time, yeah, the amnesia is coming. Uh, it comes in the form of greed. The economy by that time, if we are still going to go on with this government, is going to be worse probably. You know, so it's so easy now to buy people with your with your votes and all the money that you've stolen. They'll still play the tribal card and then we get amnesia again. So if we don't do the civic education now, so that by 2027, even when they come with that propaganda of theirs, it doesn't it, it doesn't work, you know. That's why we're doing this by the why we should talk to the public, us as like intellectuals of our country. We have to speak up about it. Easily, like, if you guys really want to make change, you guys form your own political party and form it as early as now. Whereby, Mukuena look safe and say, like, you have a secretary general, you have the whatever, whatever. But they will not be the candidates that we... Those are not the candidates you are fronting. Those are the people in charge of the party. Mm-hmm. Say we put like Hanifa there, Hussein there, Boniface there, Makure there, uh, Metro Metro Boomin, I don't know, Polokimani. Mm. Polokimani. Uh, <laughs> <in the> position. <laughs> but <laughs> I think we should also be careful. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that those people don't have integrity. Mm-hmm. I think there's also so many people who are not like out there on social media, mm-hmm. but still stand for the same things but are actually now, like I'm saying, political scientists. I'm not taking anything away from Kina Hanifa and, and you know, Hussein, but you, you can position also other people who don't have that following or big wig, but mm-hmm. have a lot of Im- yeah, impact, impact yeah. that they can give. Um, but those people have shown and they can. Yeah, yeah. One thing we, they you have. have to, so those look like, those people you've mentioned, mm-hmm wouldn't be in the background. Those would have to be your forefront people, yeah. you know. So these are the people who will drive now the agenda, mm-hmm. but then they have, you know, now like a team of advisors. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. crap. Mm-hmm. Um, team of advisors, um, all this, like a proper, a proper structural team. Mm-hmm. Because, so that, who's going to advise Hanifa on health? Us you know, now. Mm-hmm. somebody has to be there. Yeah, like the party So she out. can be the face, 
but somebody is going to be in charge of health same way you have a cabinet secretary yeah. of health and, yeah. and and all those things yeah like they should so, have professionals and intellectuals so yeah. you see what like and we have a good number of that we just need to come together have our party have our goals 2027 ikifika from now until then there should be civic education we need to talk about what like in syllabus in asonga araka another thing on the syllabus i wanted to ask you mm. the toxic maze candle mm. the one you sent me on ig and how the pesticides are causing a thought to yeah. be causing cancer so that that's because of something i saw that was being discussed i don't know if it was in the national assembly or in the senate where they were discussing about um Gladys Shole was talking about how pesticides and fertilizers uh, are causing cancer and that you know all these uh, multinational corporations um such as Bayer and others that come from Germany uh, some from I think Switzerland European countries supplying with uh, with the different fertilizers different pesticides and these are substances that are banned in the EU mm-hmm. um because of cas- you know um carcinogen being yeah. cancer causing yeah. s- some of them endocrine disrupting chemicals as well so many things that are toxic and harmful to your health mm-hmm. um are out there but when i listen to it i'm like think about it when you're taught in medicine this is something even us doctors we know like and we've not been vocal about it like when you're taking history taking yeah and i came back to realize that when i came back because i studied abroad mm-hmm. and i wasn't acclimatized i had to come back and just understand how healthcare is things like fgm i didn't know what fgm was mm. because in russia there, there was no fgm mm. but you see this is a medical you know emergency for a lot of us yeah. in who are practicing here yeah. so i came to realize that when we take history you ask about um especially when these patients start giving off cancer like symptoms hodgkin's lymphoma you find an abdominal swelling there is an area you ask in the history where they are from where it's known to be a farm area mm-hmm. that uses a lot of pesticides or fertilizers mm-hmm. and we're seeing cases of kids coming who've developed cancer because of the predisposition of where they're from in the country where farming is you know done on a large scale or the 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 source of income most of the, the parents are farmers or work in farms and these kids are exposed exactly. to all these like uh, pesticides the insecticides Absolutely. that they use yeah. I, i think I, i can't remember whether it's meru or it's peo kambani that they, we usually ask those questions i know <laughs> for when you work in in government and you start suspecting i can't remember what it was but we ask about those things why because we know we're already seeing it we have the research that guys these things that we're putting in our food is actually giving kids mm-hmm. cancer you know so the, there's a report there's a to, there's a report by an ngo it's called root to food um and they've done um you know independent research and it's really really shocking what's in that report mm-hmm. um and they even list the common fru- uh, foods they list the brand names of the the pesticides and 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 the levels you know like things like tomatoes and skuma things that are supposed to be healthy you know so it's like it's crazy man it's it's like i keep saying the only way you know your food is healthy mm-hmm. is if you grow it so we could be talking about yeah you know eat your greens ah, eat your eat your fresh you vegetables up. don't eat processed food eat your meat eat your you know fresh meat mm-hmm. especially for us guys who are trying to build muscle protein yeah. and stuff like so you're thinking you're eating well but that cow has probably ant- been injected with antibiotics you don't know what else is 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 inside the milk that is produced is full of antibiotics so we have antibiotic resistance in your, body. In your foods mm. then you you know it's it's crazy it's, it's wild out there yeah, yeah so we, we, and it's we not actually and it's not just food mm-hmm. and that's another thing i keep telling uh, people is it's better to be aware than just like borrow high type of of thing you know <laughs> i get a lot of flack from it because it's like doc bana you, you're just telling us to avoid everything what are we going to do because even household products i keep talking about endocrine disrupting chemicals and the yeah. toxins that yeah. we have 
yeah. from your detergents, exactly. your powdered detergents, from your softeners, which have four times fragrance, and you're advertising it so powerful, four times fragrance. Yet fragrances <laughs> are, you know, petroleum derivatives. They are mm. called phthalates. We know they're endocrine disrupting chemicals, and mm. eventually can lead to a lot of health disorders. Yeah links to you know autism fine studies people keep arguing about the the quality or the level of studies mm -hmm. but the studies are improving yeah. um recently yeah. cambridge did a study they found that there's for for from from aldehyde in um hair relaxers yeah. well, you know yeah. well, uh, mm -hmm. and a lot um mm -hmm. you know just trying to get that clean crisp yeah. you know dj Khaled kind of finish okay. but then you realize in dyes mm -hmm. there's so many toxins there's so many endocrine disrupting chemicals um and relaxers yeah we came to realize like people used to say oh black women get a lot of ovarian and whatever because they are black but then they came to realize it's the relaxers you know and then you come to realize talc powder that people used to use yeah talc naturally occurs with asbestos how do you separate the two if it's not naturally occurring with asbestos which is a known carcinogen exactly. you know but the company will tell you it's we don't it's not contaminated with asbestos yeah. yet by law they're not required to reveal that yeah. and you know the list it's goes the on shampoos. your baby shampoos they that study in cambry also found it in liquid baby shampoo has oh that days. stuff and causes brain cancer like oh my like, it's the the studies are there but because the lobbying is so heavy huge lobbying is it's yeah so it's profit of over over your healthcare and yeah guys just need to be really careful about whatever and if it's not the food if it's not the products you're applying you just walk outside you just it's in the air you know a lot of an industrial area they're having it rough we've had cases it's been reported even that time some industries in siokimao i think in at the river okay. how kids got it we have lead poisoning because of industries the nganyas here that we love so much with all the you know looking like transformers and all the graffiti the fumes that they emit man just all of those so have a long term effect polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons that will just mess up your your health system wow. so Maze, if you're alive, you just you just think Sema yeah. to thank yeah. God. Yeah. But, mm. but mm. doctors are now. How do we improve the public health? This is how we're doing it, like Funza Atu, which you are doing continuously, and that's what's motivating us as well to make content. Is that like whatever we're doing now? It's like we want to make an impact and a change before it actually happens. When you're making lazy toilets from aldehyde. It's something that's ongoing, but if we do it better, we can do it better for our kids. That's the way we're thinking right now when we're making this content. It's education, it's yeah. knowledge. It's yeah. um, what I love about this new mainstream media we have, social media, is that we can share this information to the patients, but I, I, can, I can bet you won't see 100 patients in a day. We might see 30, sometimes you might see 10, others might see three patients in, you know, depending on uh, what situation then. So you can impact three people, but with social media, you can impact so many people, mm -hmm. um, especially those in Mashinani. We don't have many specialists in this country. And a lot of the specialists are all, you know, we are all Kukundia. saturated here in Nairobi. <laughs> you know, there's, there's even specialists that we don't have in Mombasa, in Kisumu. Um, and people have to come to, to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So when you're um, a specialist and you have this uh, platform and you're able to reach out to all these mm -hmm. people uh, mm -hmm. and reach out to them sure. because there's no specialist, yeah. they now know, okay, maybe I'm, I'm having this issue. I need to go see a gynecologist. I need mm -hmm. to go see a pediatrician. Um, I'm seeing my kid's head is actually big. Maybe I need to go and be seen by a neurosurgeon and a neuro um, and a pediatrician. Exactly. My child might be having hydrocephalus, you know. Or now you 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 have a baby who is born and you see some spina bifida, and then you remember there is a tweet I saw. Yeah. Yeah. And be checking. Yeah. So yeah, it's 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 just awareness. Like for me, I've seen it firsthand. Like there's a story always tell i think on my podcast where it was i just started tiktok and then i was going to have my car aligned uh -huh. and the mechanic says i saw your tiktok about kilimi akukatwa kilimi uh -huh. you know cutting the uvula and he said like i saw that thing and my wife and the mother-in-law were really pushing it, me to do it uh -huh. but like i had this time when i said no i had backing 
and I showed them like look this is a pediatrician mm. um and he's telling us don't do this okay. abcd so you touch people's lives like you know you and and you're seeing life. like the power like even with mandamano the way like, people are organizing so yeah man it's a beautiful space to be in i think this is the future of um health advocacy i keep telling people it's a different kind of health advocacy exactly. that gen z's understand um and the younger generations will understand mm-hmm. as opposed to he- the health advocacy of the boardrooms and you know technical work groups yeah. yes we need those but but, but we are, we're dealing with a generation that is different because the way of communication um is still very old school yeah. of posters and the ministry of health posting something mm-hmm. you tb mm-hmm. you learn exactly. about this it's like you have to you're not getting them it's I'm you're still the using the same old, old technique shit. trying to you know reach a new uh, population that moves on high stimulus Banda. on m- motion video audio uh, things broken down into a language that they understand what what chapiana to the chapiana pod i think we are like Two minutes into Kufika Mwisho. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we've talked about a lot of good yeah. stuff. Yeah. This yeah. is really good. The whole time I'm looking at the camera and I'm seeing your t-shirt and I feel like laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks. that's a crazy I a t-shirt. Pen. I have a good pen. <laughs> If you want to know, come find out. <laughs> Oh, that's what he said that's what he said <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> ah thanks very much doc for for coming to our pod yeah man and hopefully we can do some more collaborative works i want to give a huge shout out to awesome and to you and to the album i really enjoyed it listening to it so i, I say stream yeah album, man yeah. go stream go stream awesome rain um man it's out on all the platforms just type the stands dr rain Asam Gavi um you should get it it's on YouTube go check out Wagwan the music video is out now yeah man guys keep on pushing uh, i really like these spaces you guys have pushed me even me i'm starting my own podcast so wow. people should look out for that too yeah man not to ZD um yeah pediatrician consults if you need uh, please uh, hit me up on the DM uh, let any watoto let's make them better man tuchunge watoto wetu na to improve their afya as well in the future the afya exactly future. Yeah so that's that's that Peace out Peace Tunaweza fanya moja hey it's Dr. Rain and I'll be on the laughing Yeah uh, yeah it's still rolling You can hear it as it too fast but he done Yeah quick road so you get Give us a shout out So niseme I'm on the laughing lab coat with Dr. Dr. Jim Dr. Central yes. We'll be shooting Central Oh we No, oh. this younger apa. Hmm. Like kutaka nyuma ya hiyo. Oh, okay. okay. Ah, okay. In a separate tick. Yeah. Eh, me ni moto. Askel ko. Ni kona cotton mouth bag. No, it's cotton mouth. What's the V2? Don't go to Itisha to Bali. Because of There is a place nearby kuna kijana fulani leo tu. Yeah, little like task at. So I let you yeah. Like yeah, two, two task. Mm. Ni kwa pipo. Kuna hapa, hapo on the left. Alafu kaiona. Ngeti ya kwanza. Boys.